Popeyes or Chick-fil-A? <laughs> it's a hot debate right now. Probably not the one you thought you'd be having at this point. Yeah, here we are, though. A week later <laughs> in the fight over who has the better chicken sandwich is still raging between customers and, of course, the restaurants, too. Brad Underwood drew the tough assignment of settling the debate, and I'm sure it involved <laughs> testing each of the chicken sandwiches. Brad, what have you learned? Maybe. Well, uh, we'll get to that in a little bit, but uh, here in Covington, you know, they had those sandwiches, the chicken sandwiches when we were here today. The key word there, had tonight, a handwritten sign, no more chicken sandwiches on the doors to get into the location. And, you know, this new sandwich is causing such a phenomenon that most of the Popeyes in our area are also sold out of that new chicken sandwich. The sign says it all. Try our new chicken sandwich, temp out. Not only do they not have enough chicken, Apparently not enough letters to spell sandwich correctly. The misspelling aside, Popeye's new chicken sandwich is causing extremely long lines at every location. I'm trying to try it out and see if it's good or not. If not, I'm going to stick with chicken filet. People just can't wait to get a bite of all that hype. Everywhere I've gone, including Lexington, is sold out. They sold out Friday at 8 p.m. in Lexington. So, it's yeah, it's been a crazy event. Well, so, how many places have you been to try to get this sandwich? About four. Four? Yes. Wow. All right. Well, I hope they got some, man. Me too. I'm excited. So excited, he can taste every bit of the sandwich. I've heard so much about it on Facebook. When I hear it's got a buttery crust, the pickle <laughs> tastes like chicken. It does. The chicken's nice and juicy. I even heard Chick-fil-A's fake mad about it, so <laughs> I gotta try it. But for those craving this new chicken sandwich, the store on Glenway is out, Oakley is out, the one on Mitchell has some, but this is what it looks like outside and inside. About four other ones didn't have any more either, so right. I don't got time to be searching. I just know where to come. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is certainly having fun, and social media is here for it. Check out this sign from Chick-fil-A. FYI, we don't run out of chicken sandwiches. Popeye's reply, FYI, people need to eat on Sundays. We're open six days a week. We give you that. We take Sunday off to let you try another food. Jeff Diener, the director of operations at the Western Hills Chick-fil-A, is also enjoying the debate. We never run out of chicken, so that's the funny part of all this. Shamika Jones says the Popeye sandwich is good, but it's clear where her loyalties are. She's got on a Chick-fil-A shirt. Popeye was too long. I was like, well, I'm going to Chick-fil-A. They the originator, so I'm sticking with Chick-fil-A. I don't love, love the uh, dedication there for Shamika, you know, and adding to the list uh, tonight, you know, the Mitchell Avenue store, they're now out of the sandwiches. So is the store up on Kings Mills Road in Mason. All in all, a pretty fun day despite the rain. The only fail for us today, we didn't get to try any of that chicken, Cammie. Oh, that's just not right. I that's think you bummer. need to go, go back out again <laughs> tomorrow and give it another whirl, Brad. All right, thank you so much. I don't know. What do you think? Do you I, have a preference? I have not had the Popeye's chicken sandwich yet. Okay. I'm going to wait till the lines die down. Yeah. Like if Brad goes tomorrow, Smart. he'll probably be waiting in line yeah, for a while. So I think I'm so. Wait till it calms. <laughs>